far beyond the reach of any star's light, beyond planets, moons, and even the faintest solar wind, lies a place so silent it hums with ancient secrets. Floating in this endless dark, nearly 24 billion kilometers from Earth, is Voyager 2, a spacecraft launched in 1977, a relic of an era before the internet, powered by plutonium and built to last only a decade. No one imagined it would still be alive today. Yet here it is, still sending signals back across the cosmic abyss. But something has changed. This isn't just another routine transmission. It's a message. A final image so strange, so perfectly ordered, that it shook the foundations of NASA's deepest halls. What Voyager 2 has sent back is not random noise or a fading glitch. It's an anomaly, geometric, intelligent, and eerily deliberate. Captured not by accident, but by a probe navigating space decades after its mission was supposed to end. How could a machine older than the internet become the messenger of something possibly unnatural? Did Voyager 2 cross into a region where physics itself rewrites the rules? Or did it stumble upon something never meant to be seen? This isn't coincidence, it's a warning. Written in mathematics, woven in light, encoded in the final frames of Voyager 2's last journey. If you think space is empty, think again. Stick around, because this discovery will change everything you thought you knew about the cosmos. When Voyager 2 blasted off in 1977, it carried more than instruments and cameras. It carried humanity's most hopeful message, a golden disk filled with Earth's music, greetings, and sounds, launched as a cosmic time capsule for anyone, or anything, that might find it. We thought the mission was a one-way message into the void, but nearly 50 years later, Voyager 2 has sent back something chilling. Not just a faint signal, but a reply. An image captured with failing cameras at a distance no one expected it to see. This wasn't supposed to happen. Not now. Not with equipment designed for a 10-year mission. Yet when NASA's new quantum AI systems scanned the data, what emerged was stunning. A structure, precise, symmetrical, and unmistakably deliberate, stretching across multiple frames. Not a star, not a planet, not dust or plasma. A lattice. It defied randomness. Whispering design. Even more disturbing, this structure seemed to hold position relative to the spacecraft, almost orbiting or tracking it. Multiple instruments, multiple wavelengths, all confirming it wasn't a malfunction. Mathematical signatures embedded within the structure revealed repeating Fibonacci ratios and prime number spacings, a language so profound one physicist called it the universe winking at us. But deep space isn't supposed to play by these rules. And when Voyager scanned the anomaly, it changed as if aware of being observed a cosmic observer effect, but on a scale beyond anything humanity had ever imagined. Could something that large really be alive? This discovery shattered old ideas. The edge of our solar system isn't just empty space. It's a cosmic twilight zone where the very fabric of reality starts to bend, twist, and mutate. Hold tight, because this is just the beginning. Voyager 2's discovery forced scientists to rethink everything. The edge of our solar system isn't just a boundary of particles and plasma, it's where space itself starts to change. Quantum gravity theorists suggest that beyond the heliopause, space-time may behave unlike anything we've ever seen. Imagine a cosmic twilight zone where Einstein's rules blur and bend into something new, a quantum dialect of reality. The lattice Voyager captured Fitz's no known model. It doesn't reflect light, it absorbs specific frequencies. It casts no shadow but disrupts magnetic fields. Some scientists speculate it's not even part of our dimension, maybe a higher dimensional object intersecting ours, a shadow from another universe. Now consider this. Voyager 2, built with 1970s technology, detected all this from billions of kilometers away, with instruments less powerful than a smartphone today. The quantum AI analysis uncovered hidden sequences buried in the anomaly's transmissions. Prime numbers, Fibonacci spirals, geometric symmetries matching the exact math on Voyager's golden record. This wasn't just a random coincidence. It was a response, a mirror image of our own cosmic greeting, encoded in a structure detectable only by the AI we developed recently. Something out there understood us, and it waited, while the public received vague statements about data artifacts. Behind closed doors, NASA's top scientists were told to stay silent. Voyager's transmissions were rerouted, encrypted, locked away in private quantum computing labs. Why? Because this message wasn't just scientific. 
it threatened to upend geopolitics, religion, and the very foundation of human knowledge. An anonymous engineer described the atmosphere as a Cold War alert. Not fear of bombs, but fear of contact. We sent a message, and now, something sent one back. The debate inside the scientific community exploded. On one side, traditionalists argued the structure could be explained by unknown dust clouds or optical illusions caused by lensing effects in space. But others, especially theoretical physicists and quantum field experts, weren't convinced. Papers briefly uploaded to archives, then swiftly removed, claimed the data matched predicted behaviors of artificially generated quantum fields. Fields manipulated not by nature, but by design. Some proposed Voyager 2 had entered a controlled zone where information itself could be shaped and encoded visually, space as a message board, rewritten in real time. One physicist called the anomaly a glyph, half symbol, half command. And then came the most unsettling theory. What if this isn't just a reply? What if it's an invitation? Voyager's magnetometers, miraculously still working, picked up pulsing magnetic fields around the object. Not random bursts, but timed intervals, like a heartbeat or beacon. Even more striking, these pulses followed a Fibonacci sequence, matching the visual pattern's geometric progressions. For decades, humanity has searched for alien life in radio waves and exoplanet atmospheres. But what Voyager 2 might have found is a step beyond, a civilization or something else, manipulating space itself, leaving no wreckage, no signals, only patterns visible to those who know where and how to look. And we just found it. As research deepened, a chilling idea took hold in private circles. What if Voyager's final image isn't an object? What if it's a mirror? Not metaphorical, but literal. A dynamic distortion in space, turning itself toward us the moment we looked too closely. Voyager didn't discover something new. It awakened something dormant. Scientists whispered about a sentient surveillance system, invisible until triggered by Voyager's crossing of an invisible boundary. Not an attack, not a welcome, just acknowledgement. Now, Voyager drifts silently into the darkness, leaving behind an impossible image, a ripple in our understanding of reality. For nearly 50 years, Voyager 2 too carried humanity's hopes, a golden record of our music, our math, our heartbeat, into the cosmic unknown. We sent a message, unsure if it would ever be heard. Now the reply is clear. Voyager's final image is not just a photo, it's a rupture, a quiet tear in the fabric of space and time, a geometric echo of our own logic reflected back at us with impossible precision. Not a star, not a planet, not dust or gas, something else, something that thinks, that waits, that mirrors us. And worst of all, something that seems to understand us. For decades, we believed our signal would vanish into silence. But Voyager's last act may have confirmed the deepest, most ancient fear embedded in every culture, every religion, every moment someone looked up at the stars. We were never alone. Not in this galaxy, not in this dimension, not even in the silence. And now, that silence has shattered. Because something just blinked. If, if this revelation shook you, made you question everything you thought you knew about space, time, and solitude, don't just sit there. Subscribe to this channel. We chase the transmissions others fear. Share this video with someone who still believes the universe is empty. Voyager 2's journey is a story of persistence, mystery, and a cosmic dialogue that challenges everything we believed about space and time. For nearly half a century, it drifted, carrying a message of hope and curiosity. A golden disk with Earth's voice sent into the vast unknown. But now, as it approaches the edge of our solar system, Voyager 2 has become more than just a messenger. It's become a participant in something far greater. The image it sent back isn't just a photo, it's a signature, a complex code woven into the fabric of space itself. Patterns embedded with prime numbers and Fibonacci sequences that echo the language we once sent out. And the anomaly wasn't static. It changed when Voyager observed it, as if aware, responding, alive in a way no known natural phenomenon can be. Scientists are torn. Is this evidence of a new form of life? A higher dimensional projection? Or a quantum field engineered by an intelligence beyond human comprehension? One thing is clear. The cosmic silence is not empty. It's filled with messages, waiting for the right moment, the right listener. And Voyager 2 may be that listener. As the probe drifts further, the magnetic pulses it detects suggest a beacon. A heartbeat pulsing in space, precise and rhythmic. A cosmic call sign. The implications are staggering. If this is contact, it changes everything. 
our place in the universe, the very nature of reality, and the question of whether we are truly alone. But the story is far from over. Every signal Voyager 2 sends back pulls us deeper into this cosmic mystery. And as we decode these messages, we stand on the brink of a revelation that could redefine humanity's future. Voyager 2's final transmission is more than data. It's a cosmic riddle wrapped in layers of code and silence. A message not just sent, but answered. Behind the scenes, NASA's top scientists grapple with implications too enormous to fully grasp. Internal communications reveal secrecy, urgency, and a shift in how we think about space exploration. This isn't merely a scientific puzzle. It's a challenge to our deepest assumptions about existence. The anomaly Voyager 2 encountered defies every classical model. It's not dust, gas, or any natural formation we understand. It's a lattice, a pattern so mathematically precise that it reads like an intelligence's signature. And it's alive, or something like it. Responding, adapting, even watching. The magnetic pulses, matching Fibonacci sequences and prime numbers, hint at a language beyond words. A universal code written in the fabric of the cosmos. Some physicists now believe we've found evidence of a quantum intelligence, a force or entity manipulating reality at a fundamental level. This discovery blurs the line between science and philosophy, challenging us to reconsider what life really means. Voyager 2's journey is no longer just about exploration. It's about connection, a bridge between humanity and whatever exists beyond our comprehension. But this message also carries a warning, a threshold crossed, a question posed. Are we ready to listen? Because the silence we once feared is now broken. And what lies beyond may change everything we thought we knew about ourselves and the universe. If you want to stay on the cutting edge of this unfolding cosmic story, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell. Share this video with anyone who still believes the universe is empty. Comment below. Was this a reply, a test, or something far more profound? The next chapter is just beginning, and you won't want to miss a single moment.